Hello, my friends. Welcome to my show, Jack Chow East West Show with Jenny E TV.、Uh, it is a、um, well situation that we have to talk about because we're talking about a uh, uh, breaking news at、uh, UCLA. There's a water bust, and there's a big accident. It's been for the for by now. It's been about two days. People working on it. How big was the problem? How big is the problem? Or how big shall the problem last? We don't know yet. At least I don't know. For my audience, is for the purpose of bringing you understanding about the problems in the future and prevention stuff like that. As money, of course, I have once again invited Mr. Ken Manning、mm-hmm. to come here to talk about it. He is a supervisor. He is the director of the Water Quality Board. Of San Gabriel Valley. Once、mm-hmm. again, welcome to the show. Thanks, Jack. It's good to be here. Sure. It was only a few days ago when we were here talking about water, right? right. Water, 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 right?、Mm-hmm. When we were talking about water, we certainly took the word water for granted. Water, well, every time you turn the tap on, it's supposed to be there,、mm-hmm. unless there is an extreme drought, right? We forgot one thing about the pipelines, about the facilities that brings the water to your users' hand.、Mm-hmm. So, and we all heard about it, and everybody know, and you know better than I, than than us, that something happened at UCLA campus in Westwood.、Mm-hmm. Uh, yet, how your eye, professional eye, describe the situation, describe the the damage or the incident? Well, first of all,、um, the situation over in Westwood、um, was a, a mainline pipe that was running down Sunset. It was about a 30-inch mainline pipe, and just, be- just before, about,、yes. about like that,、mm-hmm. um, and where just before that, there were two pipes that were coming into it, feeding into it,、mm-hmm. and I'm guessing that it was probably pressurized at somewhere around 75 to 100 psi.、Mm-hmm. So it, it's under high pressure. It's a 30-inch pipe. Um, and the pipe was 93 years old, so、oh. this that means that pipe was installed in the 1920s.、Mm. And when it was installed, they probably thought that the lifespan of that pipe was probably going to be 50 and 60 years.、Mm. And that's pretty indicative of the situation we have with infrastructure in our water here in all of Southern California. Is that it's aging, and because you don't see it, it's underground. A lot of people don't worry about. Replacing it or or fixing it, and so you end up with more and more of these pipe breaks. This pipe break is no different than probably four or five others that have occurred over the last six months、uh, in the Los Angeles area. Obviously, between 50 years to 93 years, there's a big gap. Oh yeah, you're talking about almost double the time span, right?、Mm-hmm. So, if Jack Shaw doesn't care about it, was not aware about it. And it's not well. It's not a problem.、Mm-hmm. If LA DWP doesn't wasn't aware of it, that sounds a problem to me. Do you think so? Well, the issue is is that the Department of Water and Power is part of the la- larger bureaucracy called the City of Los Angeles,、mm-hmm. and all of us know that cities and counties have been under tremendous、um, pressure of the la- over the last decade、mm-hmm. on their finances,、mm-hmm. and so. The ability to be able to put money towards fixing or replacing that infrastructure、mm-hmm. or those pipes is more and more difficult because you don't see them. It's not like a bridge that's rusting and you see it and you say, "I got to replace that." This is underground and people don't see the kinds of problems that you're occurring.、Mm-hmm. This was a, there was nothing. There was no there was no earthquakes. There was nothing there that caused that to break, other than the fact that just finally wore out. And when it wore out, maybe there was a pressure surge. Maybe there was something that happened internally within the system that caused more pressure at that point, and that was the weak link. And you had the pressure. And of course, when you're when you're pumping at those high pressures, you lose a lot of water quickly. The other problem they had over there is when they tried to shut it off. Each of those pipes along the line has shutoff valves, and those shutoff valves were old as well. And、uh-huh. so when they tried to shut down the the water going to that point in the pipe. They found that they could not turn it off. You could get it, could get it close to being turned off, but、oh, until they get it completely shut off, they can't fix it. So、oh, they have to put in something to stop that water before they can go in and fixing. That was causing the delays in the in the repair. In order to put something to do that, they have to stop something 
upper level. Yeah, they've got to go further back into the system, yeah, somehow, the system. somehow in the system, and be, to be able to stop the water uh -huh. from flowing flowing through the pipe, so that they I can see. cut that section out and replace it. Uh -huh. Now the problem is, is they're only replacing a section, and that is going to be a new section, and then the rest of the pipe is still going to be 93 years old. Oh yeah. So eventually yeah. they're going to have to replace that entire whole section of pipe. Uh, yet it was somewhere around uh, one or two something yesterday afternoon. I heard over in the news only for a short period of time, somebody throw a bomb or something into it, and mm -hmm. later on they never talking about it again. Probably they want to just clarify it by just uh, just say that's high. Was that something like that? I Did haven't heard that, but it's mm -hmm. highly unlikely. Uh -huh. um, first of all, that pipe was several feet underground, I see. so a bomb would not have. And you can't just drop a pipe into a a, a bomb into a pipe like that. You just can't do it. I see. You, there is no place. It's under pressure. If you were to open up that valve to put a bomb in, oh, the right. pressure would push yeah. push it like of opening a fire hydrant. I see. So you're not going to get a bomb in there. So that, that's that I would doubt there's any legitimacy there. Mm -hmm. Um, but but in, in fact, the, you know, you've got these situations occurring all over the Southland. Here in the San Gabriel Valley, we have the same issues with water mains and water pipes that are, um, are, are 100 years old. Over, so, I, we're working on a project right here in Covina where um, we have a, uh -huh. a, 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 we're redoing um, the system because they have two wells that they're working with. They still have them. They're still operating, but they're 100 years old, 104 years old. Well, they're still operating, still using them. Right. So... You know what? Understanding the year, the lifespan of the uh, of the pipe when they first installed within only 50 years or something, mm -hmm. and we're lucky. We've been lucky for half a century already. Nothing of that nature happens, right. right? So should they realize that, sh they should uh, jump on it, do the repair. Because I understand the water bond after water bond after water bond of money being collected mm -hmm. from taxpayers. Where did yeah. the money go? Well, most of those water bonds are going into new infrastructure because mm -hmm. the city of Los Angeles, when that, wa that water line was installed over in Westwood, the city population for the city of Los Angeles was probably, you know, uh, a tenth or less of what it is now. So the city is still growing and things are still, still evolving. Mm -hmm. And so there are still new infrastructure going on. For instance, there's a new water treatment facility that's being planned. That's a mm -hmm. billion dollar project that's being planned in the North Hollywood um, area that's going to take care of cleaning up groundwater so that they can use it for their, their system. It's a somewhere between a 600 and a billion dollar project. So that's where a lot of that money goes to new infrastructure. There are very few bond dollars available for fixing old infrastructure. That ha that's built into the rate base. So when you pay your bill every, every, mm. week, every month, that part of that bill is supposed to be for fixing pipes and replacing things. The problem is, is with the pressures on cities and communities and water districts for keeping rates low, mm. there's never been a buildup of enough money to be able to do that. And to replace all of the antiquated or old pipes in the city of Los Angeles would be billions of dollars. I recall about a year ago, till all the way the beginning of this year, there was a big, big talk about LADWP money, mm -hmm. a huge lump sum of money being untracked. Right? Does that have anything to do with that kind of money? You know, it's hard to say. I mean, it's all one big pot of money in terms of the city of Los mm -hmm. Angeles, and it's divvied out into different sections. And of course, um, the Department of Water and Power has been under scrutiny now for a long time for, mm -hmm. for a lot of different issues. It's a very good utility, and they do a very good job, and they work within this large bureaucracy of the city of Los Angeles. And so they have a lot of pressures on them to do different things, and how they operate is different than, say, s some of the utilities here in the San Gabriel Valley. But the fact of the matter is, is that they don't have enough money to do that kind of infrastructure repair to everywhere. So what they do is they wait for a problem, like the, the burst. Mm -hmm. And when that breaks, they yeah, fix it. And then when this one over here breaks, they'll fix that one. And that one over there breaks, they'll fix that one. Right. At some point in time, they're gonna have to just replace a lot that of those lines. That exactly brings me to the questions of their area. Uh, let's take a short moment. Today joining me is my good friend, Mr. Ken Manning. He is the director of the Water Quality Board of San Gabriel Valley. Uh, talking about the incident that happened two days ago, as uh, a matter of fact, we're still working on it, people are still working on it, trying to put a stop to it, the consequences are huge. Uh, it's in UCLA, and I learned that the, uh, the, 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 the prevailing uh, court, the basketball court, 
which costs about $136 million to do remodeling has been totally destroyed. So let's stay with us a little bit. When we come back, we'll find out how the pipelines are being installed and what, on what kind of schedules they are being maintained or replaced. So mm -hmm. stay with us.